The Winita project is important for the uh, citizens of British Columbia. It's bringing 335 megawatts to the grid, probably enough to feed 40,000 homes. Alors, un élément très intéressant du projet, c'est qu'on ne construit pas de barrage. So what we do is we tap into the reservoir. And we're building a new intake structure off on the uh, right bank, tunnels to a powerhouse, and then the water flows back into the river. So it's kind of like bypassing the main dam. Nous avons apporté le projet grâce à une innovation assez intéressante. La façon dont on a orienté la centrale nous a permis de réduire l'excavation et de minimiser l'empreinte environnementale de la centrale et d'ensemble du projet. Ça nous a permis de faire des économies et d'avoir un projet qui était très justifiable pour le client. There are a number of endangered species on the site, including critters, things that creep and crawl, and plants. So environmental management plans outline all the environmental measures that need to be taken based on commitments with the Department of Environment and Water Resources. The First Nation that we worked uh, with a lot um, is the Tanaha First Nation. One of the things that we saw that was important from other projects where we were involved with First Nations is that we have to have a direct link into the First Nation. So we hired a community First Nation liaison person that works for me, and I think that's going to go a long ways for us in Sulawesi if they do that. La chose dont je suis le plus fier dans ce projet, c'est la collaboration que on a su établir, SNC Lavalin et l'ensemble des entrepreneurs, la communauté et le client. I'm very, very proud of the team that we've put together because a, a group of very uh, professional people. We're on schedule, or slightly ahead, and we're on budget. And what also makes it special, I think, that if you look around the site, people are happy. We're all very proud of this project.